Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already seen any of my videos, my name is Liz and I do all kinds of videos, especially makeup and skincare. So today I'm going to be using the BoxyCharm products that I have received this month, June 2020. So let me get started. So today we're going to go ahead and start off with that eye cream that I was actually super excited about. It's the QMS Intensity Care. So I'm going to go ahead and open it for the very first time. Super excited about this. This is what... Oh, it looks super rich and luscious. Let's see how it feels on my skin. I'm just going to dab a little bit with my clean hands. And I'm looking at you guys, but I'm just looking at the... <laughs> at myself. It feels really light. It feels really good. It feels very rich. But it does feel very light. It doesn't feel very thick. So I feel like it would be easy to layer on top of, under <laughs> um, foundation or other things that I may use. So I'm going to go ahead, obviously, you apply to one side, you have to apply to the other side. But it's very smooth and it doesn't really leave any white cast or any other things. I personally like to go around the whole eye area. Sorry, my neighbors are so loud. <laughs> I personally like to go around the whole area. That area, because I feel like they're both very delicate parts of the skin, so they're both necessary. It really does blend really smoothly. So I am gonna be going. I'm gonna be using as one of the items I was super excited about that everybody was recommending to use. So this is the first time I'm gonna be using it. It's called the Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. And this is what it looks like. So, it's the beautiful packaging, remember? <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and open that up. Okay, it came out kind of like... It doesn't really have a scent. It, maybe a little bit. It smells good. I, don't, I can't track what it is, but this is what it looks like. It smells really, really good. So it's supposed to be uh, used as a primer, also as a moisturizer. It has all these different ingredients that help with different effects. So I'm going to go ahead and just try it. I'm still going to use some um, primer because it's one of the things I got in my box. So, so what was you guys' favorite um, item that you guys have received? Comment down below. I'm really curious to see what everybody else got and... Because, you know, sometimes some people, like last month, I was kind of disappointed <laughs> on what I had. And uh, this month was so much better. So I wonder if it's like, oh, this month we're going to give you something that's not super great. But next month we're going to compensate for it. You know, <laughs> maybe a lot of people were complaining about it. That they were like, okay, we need to step our up game. I don't know what it was about last month. So this actually feels super, super smooth on my skin it feels really really great oh i like this i really like this so mm -hmm. it feels really rich really smooth on my skin like i said apply everywhere also on your neck <laughs> never forget your neck your chest area And I can see like an instant glow. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels very, very glowy. Okay, I'm not going crazy. This is very rich. This is very moisturizing to the skin. Very, it makes your skin look super, super nice and glowy. So now kind of looking at a different uh, part. On camera, I look super nice, super glowy, but in real person, I feel like I don't know how this is going to play off because my skin does tend to be combination. So I'm scared of parts that I'm oily. It will oil me up. Sorry. <laughs> There's Milo, my doggy. But it's fine. I'll go ahead and put it on. I'll be trying it for the rest of the week for the next couple of weeks. And then see how I end up uh, by the end of the night. If I end up really oily and I'll end up doing a review about that. So next on my steps. Is I use the Purito, which is a Korean brand for sunscreen because sunscreen is one of the most important steps. You should always be wearing sunscreen daily. And with this sunscreen, I'll show you in camera. 
and it's actually really really great um, because it leaves no white cast and for somebody for example for me that it doesn't matter if you're white black hispanic mexican um any culture race asian <laughs> i mean it doesn't matter it won't leave a white cast because um the way that it's made uh it's a mineral sunscreen and with the ingredients that is made um it makes it where it won't leave a white cast but it doesn't have strong uh components uh or harmful components like some chemical chemical physical sorry physical sunscreens with make sure you share the love under your eye for those dark eyes to protect that from the sun you don't want to make them darker unless you do which i don't know anybody who would and um, share the love with the rest of your neck and your chest area like always because those areas are very sensitive and they're exposed to sun a lot of the time so yeah so next up we're going to go ahead and use the professional primer and this one is one i've used for many many years so i know it, it works really well so but i'm gonna go ahead and put it on camera for you guys so you guys can see for a second, I thought it was two in one because when you open it up, it's like these two things. But no, <laughs> it's like, what? This is incredible. Okay, okay, not disappointed. It's okay. I'm still, I'm still happy. So I'm going to go ahead and just open the wrapping up. So next step, I'm just going to get a little bit on my fingers. This is the texture of it. And I'm just going to spread it out on half of my face first so you guys can kind of see how it mattifies my skin and how it minimizes the pores because this is really great this is obviously a not permanent solution like um, when you extract and you exfoliate your skin of getting rid of blackheads but it's a temporary way of doing it and also it feels great on your skin like uh, some people don't like to wear foundation some people are, like to go natural it's really great if not it also it's really great for keeping your foundation where it's supposed to be in all your other skincare so as you can see this side looks less oily looks less with less pores in comparison to this one but obviously I want to match face I'm gonna go ahead and just put the rest on the other face the rest of the face make sure you get it everywhere i know i put on my eyelid i shouldn't have done that but I, I tend to do that usually but i just got actually um a primer for my eyelid so i forgot about that so i'll go ahead and reapply it this is the product i'm going to be using that i got um i believe on my last box it's called pretty vulgar <laughs> that's what it's called guys okay so I'm just going to apply even a smaller portion, a little bit, portion to my eye. I don't like to use too much, so I feel like this is enough for both eyes. Because you really don't need a lot, and I already put accidentally primer on there. So, there we go. And I did put a little bit under, because I am going to apply um, the eyeshadow under here. So... Okay, and regarding the eyeshadow palette, I've already actually used this in the last video uh, during makeup. So I will be doing a makeup look with this and with the lipsticks too. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation, concealer, off camera. So I can, and eyebrows, just so you guys can see the portion of the actual items. And if you want to see like a full routine, makeup routine, just go ahead and comment down below. Let me know if you like to see that. I can definitely do that for you guys. And yeah. Okay, guys. I'm back. So I went ahead already and applied that lipstick. And since I really like that color, I went ahead and applied a bold beam. It's very... It kind of looks matte, but glossy at the same time. But it doesn't, it feels really, really soft on the lips, actually. I'm not drying. So, as far as the Naturally Yours palette, I'm going to go ahead and apply this really light color right here by First Love. So, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that under my eyebrow just to brighten up a little bit.
the one that ran up looking ready to go I will do it with the same thing in the inner corner of my it's just a signature thing that I've always done I've always wanted to do and I'll probably always do it so it just I feel like it makes it look so much more awake and it kind of brings everything together not everybody likes it so you don't have to do it so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head and apply this to my eyes called pure to my eyelid I meant not eye eyelid so I'm gonna apply that as a base color it's very very bright so it's gonna blend that out there we go and do the same thing Blend that out. Okay, so your eyes look so much awake, more awake, brighter, lighter, you know. So next, so that is all actually for this look right here. I'm gonna keep it very simple. I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara and apply false lashes, but I do want to do a different review uh, regarding the Jeffree Star palette. So if you want to go ahead and watch my next video, I'm gonna go ahead and continue this look using this palette right here. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, a like, and then go ahead. If you have any other suggestions, if you'd like me to try anything else, go ahead and comment down below. And if you want to see any videos like this, please go ahead and subscribe. And I appreciate all of the support. I love all of you guys' comments. I read all of them and I write back to all of them. So I really do appreciate um, any advice or anything that you guys would like to talk about. And I would love to know what everybody else got. Um, I know they're still coming in, like the different boxes for people. So if you haven't received yours yet, go ahead and comment down below. What would you like to receive? And yeah, it was really nice showing you guys my final look and i'll see you guys soon bye